Well, the investigation into the MH17 downing is in its uh, early stages still, but mainstream US and EU news outlets don't seem uh, to need it to pin the blame. They keep accusing Russia of both the crash and the cover-up, sometimes presenting the wildest speculations as Moscow's official take and dismissing inconvenient arguments. Gianni Chikian has more on that. The media coverage in the West has been largely slanted against Russia. Public opinion, of course, responds to that kind of coverage. Public sentiment is that Russia is probably involved, and if involved, they're probably going to cover it up. That's where the public sentiment is in, in the CNN poll. The American people got it right in terms of who's to blame here, folks. 51% say Russia is indirectly involved. Clearly, the stakes are high. Whoever shoulders the blame for this atrocity is going to be the target of global anger. And right now, it looks like it's Russia's fault because... It's Russia's fault. <laughs> it's quite clearly the latest twist in this propaganda war. The Russians, through their ambassador here in Kuala Lumpur, presenting their version of events to the Malaysian media. There have also been attempts to discredit Russian sources of information. CNN put out a breakdown of what it called Russia's propaganda. The first item on the list is this. It says, the Russian take. Passengers were already dead when put aboard the MH17. But when you follow the link on this page, it has an article in Russian which reviews all the apparently, quote unquote, fake versions and conspiracy theories that are out there. That's what the article says, specifically about the theory that the bodies were dead before the crash. It says literally. Then there is information which is simply impossible to believe. CNN presents it and calls it the Russian take. It is not the Russian take. In the same breakdown, right after this dead bodies theory, CNN puts Russian defense officials showing evidence that Ukraine had the capability to shoot down the plane. Moscow is not saying Ukraine did it. It's showing evidence that it had the capability to do it, contrary to what Kiev is now saying. That claim is brushed off as propaganda. Information is now politically charged on all airwaves. It seems many journalists have already handed down their verdict. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekhan, RT. The Western media present their damning cries as the voice of the whole world's outrage. Investigative journalist Adrian Salbucci says the press is trying to protect the interests of Europe and the US. This is typical of the Western media. Every time America's or Britain's or the European Union's interests are at hand, they won't say America thinks or America wants. They will say the international community wants. Uh, America, Washington believes that they have the right to speak on behalf of the international community, and they don't. They say, certainly do not speak on behalf of Argentina or Brazil or Mexico or other countries throughout the world. So definitely it's just a way of carrying out their psychological warfare to believe that they are voicing the opinion of the vast majority of people of the world over when it is not the case. They are merely uh, repeating or saying what is the belief or the interest of America, of London or of the other uh, NATO countries, for example. 